Hey, what's shaking, everybody, and welcome back to Jay Straight Up Reviews and more. Okay, so this is the High Sense Party Rocker One. The box says it's the ultimate party starter. Now, this is a speaker that people had asked me about in the past. Like, hey, you're gonna are you gonna get that High Sense speaker? Are you gonna review that? You're gonna do a video on it? I was like, nah. I mean, just I just figured it's another cheap Chinese speaker. Why bother? Plus, it was like two fifty three hundred dollars. Why bother? But it was on sale not too long ago at Brands Mart USA for $150. So if you saw that video, I made a deal video on that. If it's still available, I'm not sure if it is or not, but I'll just cut to the chase and tell you that if it's still $150 or you can get this for $150, I think it's worth $150 for sure. $250, you're starting to stretch it. But $150, yeah, yeah, this is pretty good. So out of the box, the thing's heavy. I mean, this is about the size of Party Box 110, and it's about as heavy. Usually, that's a good sign. Usually, the heavier the speaker, they're usually better made, better components, beefier drivers, and so forth. If it's really light, that's usually a bad sign. Now, this is always the case. Now, this isn't 100% of the time, but the vast majority of the time. Now, one thing about this speaker that I don't like is when you start it up, I'll show you. That shows that it's connected. So it kind of sounds like a race car taking off when you start it up. So I don't like that now. And I, as far as I know, you can't turn that down or turn it off. If there is a way, let me know, but I didn't see anything. Cause all this thing comes with is a quick start manual, a regular manual and a power cord. That's all it comes with. When you turn it off, another kind of obnoxious noise. So why why they why these companies do this? I have no idea. Should just be a little. Come on. <laughs> and it has a display up here. It shows pairing and connected. So that's kind of nice. So the speaker, it has lights very much like the Party Box One Ten. As you can see, it has the lights around the tweeters as well. So they definitely copied the Party Box on that. But you do have two strobes up here which is a little bit different. Now the speaker has all kinds of options. Now if you need some options in a speaker, this thing has probably got it covered. I mean, it says it's 15 hours of battery life, but I've read some other people complaining about the battery life not lasting long. So I don't know about that yet. We'll find out, but it has a vocal suppressor for like karaoke mode, you know, kind of suppresses the vocals when you want to sing. It has DJ effects. It has a charging pad up here. It has a guitar input, a microphone input, it has an FM tuner. You can group play these together. I run them TWS. I mean, it's got about, just about everything. It's got five light modes. It's got, uh, I think, six DJ effects and a bass mode. It just has one bass mode, bass mode off or on has various EQ modes. There's your vocal fader, your DJ effects. And I don't think you can turn the volume down on those. I think they're just whatever the volume is. Vocal fader. On, vocal fader off. Go to DJ two. DJ three. Boom! Kind of a mediocre boom there. But we'll go over the light modes and stuff when I put this down on the floor and do a little sound demo. Has a slot here for your tablet. It has two places where you can grab, grab it for a handle. Both sides of the speaker have little rubber feet, kind of a weird color. I would have preferred something other than like a teal or aqua or whatever that is. But both sides have that. You have a port down here. This is where you plug it in at. And on the back panel, it has a DC in, so you can run like to your cigarette lighter, but it doesn't come with that cord. USB, then you have aux in and aux out, so you can daisy chain. And there's your microphone jack and a guitar jack with your gain. And then a TWS button if you want to run two. So as far as options go, this thing has it in spades. I mean, there's not much. And like I said, it does have a little display up here. 
there's not really anything that you would want probably that it doesn't have. So, but all that means crap, unless it sounds good. If it sounds like crap, then who cares? So let's put it down on the floor next to the Party Box 110 so you can get a size comparison. Let's do a little sound demo and I'll go through the light modes and the EQ modes also. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the EQ modes first and there it has a bass boost, but we'll leave the bass boost off while we go through the EQ modes. Then I'll turn the bass boost on and then run through the EQ modes again. So put your headphones on if you have them. This is the balanced EQ. And on the top display, it does show what EQ you're in. Again, that's nice having that little display. I wish uh, JBL would do something like that. All right, headphones on if you got them. Here we go, 40%. And the lights do go up, as you can see, based on the volume. It kind of shows you what volume you're at. This is balanced. Sure, it sounds right, boys.
So there you go, guys. That's the first look and an overview of the uh, light modes, EQ modes, sound check. So overall, I'll do a full review on this probably soon, and I'll probably compare it next to the Party Box 120 sitting right next to it, and probably 110. But yeah, for 150, I'll tell you right now, for 150, this is a pretty darn good speaker. I'm actually surprised. I didn't think it would be quite as good as it is. It's not really the cleanest sounding. I think if you put it up against the party box and listen to them side by side, you would see it's not quite as clean. The bass is not quite as tight. But overall, it has a pretty decent sound presentation. I mean, it has, depending on what EQ you're using, I like the Rock EQ with the bass boost. So it has a, a good full low end, has a good fair amount of detail in the upper range, and the vocals are forward enough that they're not in you know, a recess where you're not hearing them well. It's just overall a pretty darn good speaker for $150. Now, if it's normally priced $250 or $300, then I don't know that I would say to get that because I think the Party Box 110 you can get for not very much more than that right now. And whether this is better than that, that's a whole different can of worms. I don't think so. But for $150, if this is still available, Definitely for a budget speaker, this would make a great garage speaker. I think this would be one of the best options you could have for a garage speaker that's not going to cost you a whole lot. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this one. I'd give this a thumbs up so far, but we'll see uh, what it does against some of the other speakers. The T9 Pro from W King, I believe it's T9 Pro. That'd be a likely competitor also. So like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Do it today. It's free. Costs you nothing. And I guarantee you, this channel is always worth every bit of nothing. That's right, boy. <laughs> we'll catch you guys at the next one. Everybody stay safe. We out.